Canada. So we want to go back to the 2016 draft, which is what do we got about seven years ago now. And uh, you can see here, they're the top point getters from that draft. One through 10, pretty significant names up there. Jasper Bratt, also on that list, just signed yesterday, so good for him and that he's been a very helpful player and he got the new contract. But we're going to do now with the <laughs> with the benefit we're of having time. Some fun. With the benefit of time, right? It's yes. always easier to draft when guys have had success in their careers and we know who they are a little bit. So we're going to go back and we're going to redraft. They're going to go to the top five players in that draft. And, Mike, we're going to start at the top. Number one pick. You're on the clock. Am I starting with one or number am I starting one. with five? You're starting with start number with one. one. All right, right to the board. One. I don't think it changes. I yeah. think it's Austin Matthews. All I right. think Austin Matthews is the number one, although it was much closer than what it was when he got drafted. I would agree opinion. with that. But Austin Matthews is still a premier, premier goal scorer. I think he's, if not now, the greatest Toronto Maple Leaf to, to ever play. I mean, I think you need to have some some success in the playoffs. But this guy's the real deal. Uh, I think Austin Matthews is the clear-cut one for me. Pure goal scorer. Outstanding player, love him. But believe it or not, maybe I'm looking at what I just saw recently. I'm going Matthew Kachuk. I mean, he's a gamer. The guy played through a broken sternum in game four. Uh, he's a guy that brings his entire team into the fight. So right now, if you're asking me, uh, I'm going with Matthew Kachuk. Break the tie each. Break All right, the tie. I'll break the tie. I'm going to go with Austin Matthews as well. I just think those number one centermen are hard to find. He had 60 goals in the league. The position matters a little bit. It matters a lot to me. Centers and defense matter a lot to me. So, you know, Matthews, yeah, the team success hasn't really been there yet. But you know what? you got to have help. Look at Jack Eichel. He went from Buffalo to Vegas. Now he's a, a champion there because he's yeah. had help. He's had support. If Matthews gets that, He'll do the same. So I have Matthews at one. Let's go to the number two pick, Mike Rupp. That's where I go, Matthew Kachuk. And this is still the point, though. It's, yeah. It was really tight. And I don't think up until maybe the last year, year and a half, that we necessarily would have thought that to be the case with Matthew Kachuk and Austin Matthews. But you mentioned it, Dano. Like, this guy has willed his team to the Stanley Cup Finals, and he changes the dynamic of a hockey club. Uh, he's my number two in that draft. It's all about winning. That's why I picked him number one. Yeah. But my number two is your guy's number one, Austin yeah, Matthews. Yeah. I mean, uh, arguably or not arguably the best sniper in the National Hockey League. He's a goal scorer. He, you need to put the puck in the back of the net to win games. Best release in the game for my money. So, yeah, I'll take Austin Matthews at number two. And it was tight. It was splitting hairs. Man. Yeah, absolutely. I got, and obviously I have Kachuk at two. And I agree with what Mike Rupp said. It's much closer now than it was in the original draft year when it was Matthews and no one else. But Matthew has had an unbelievable run back-to-back for Matthew Kachuk, back-to-back 100-point -back seasons with different franchises. So he's done an unbelievable job. So we were, we're kind of in agreement on one through two, one and two. Let's get to number three, Mike Rowe. I think this is where we're going to start having some, okay, all right. some discrepancies what in what we pick. I'm going Adam Fox. I'm okay. going Adam Fox at three. I love the way he changes the pace of the game. He's so composed. And quite frankly, I've been really impressed the last couple of years. He defends really well. And I don't think we think that. At first, he's an undersized guy. You think that... Uh, he's just always positionally there, and he relies on his skating ability. I think he is dynamic and is uh, as good, great of a defenseman as we got in this league. Adam Fox, I got a three. Just to clarify, we didn't see each other's picks before this. No, we did not. I'm with you, Rupper. Yeah, Foxy, yeah. I picked that away. Adam Fox at number three. He controls the tempo of a game from the back end. Uh, he uh, can't have special defensemen. There's not too many of them out there that can do what Adam Fox can do, and the puck is on his stick a lot. The poise, the patience, the patience, the no-look pass is the best in the National Hockey League. Uh, the way he makes those plays and draws defenders to him. Hey, oh, I'm sorry. I just want to tell you, there's you got Pierre Luc Dubois on there that was the original, the original number, the original three. number three. And uh, I, I want to say this because he's not on my list. I'll throw that out there yeah. now because. He's made it very clear he wants to play for one team in this league, and he's not happy anywhere he is. So we're taking it with the knowledge we have now. That's right. And I wouldn't draft him if, unless I'm Montreal Canadiens. So who there do you got? You go. three? Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go off the board here. I'm going to go to Tage Thompson because big, long, strong number one centers to me can't find him. This guy is just, he has really emerged and blossomed into an unbelievable player. So if I can get a number one center. I'm taking him. So, Tage Thompson is my pick at number three. Mr. Rupp, you're up at four. Uh, Charlie McAvoy. I'm going okay. Charlie McAvoy uh, at, uh, at four because uh, he's Mr. Everything on the back end. His yep. physicality, 
the way he, I mean, he is your prototypical number one defenseman, in my opinion, because he does everything so well, all situational play he does well. Um, I love his compete. I don't know, Charlie McAvoy's my guy. I'd love to start a team with on the back end, so I got him at four. He's a late bloomer, but I'm going with Paige Thompson yeah. as well at number four. EJ, from the standpoint of everything you said, he's just finally put it all together. Yeah. Big, strong, great hands, incredible shot. And I think uh, we've only seen the tip of the iceberg, uh, what uh, he's going to accomplish moving forward. Just a great player. I love his size, especially when they become a playoff team, which yeah. may very well be uh, the season coming up. But just love Paige Thompson's development. And we're talking about right now, yeah. not about what he's done in the last five years. Yeah. Right now, yeah, I, number one, right there. number one center is just hard to find. Uh, number four for me, I'm going to go with Charlie McAvoy as well. Uh, I, you know, I came down to a couple of defensemen here without spoiling number five, but. To me, you know, it's about trying to win the Stanley Cup, and I think McAvoy has some elements to his game that can get you there a little quicker than some of the other guys I considered. So, uh, Charlie McAvoy for me at number four. Number five, Mike Rupp. Number five, Mikhail Sergachev. Ah, and if you go back to the two cups at Tampa 1, yeah. the left D was Hedman, McDonough, Sergachev. They, they, we knew that they had to give up McDonough in his salary. Yeah. But that's given this guy more reps, more minutes, more looks. Uh, he's taken over the number one power play spot. I, I just think that you mentioned tip of the iceberg. I think we're just starting to see it with Mikhail mm -hmm. Sergachev. Robert, we uh, think a lot alike in this little exercise yeah. we're doing in Monday morning quarterback in 2016 draft. I'm, I'm taking Sergachev as well. I was splitting hairs between Sergachev and McAvoy. Yeah. Because I love Charlie McAvoy in Boston, no question about it. But I just love uh, everything Sergachev brings. He's big, he has a little nasty, he's got one of the best wrist shots from the point at getting it through. And again, I think sky's the limit. I agree with you. He's a mean He's only be getting too, better huh? and better. Yeah. He's mean. He's mean. I like that. Plays the game any way you want it. That size, that length, that reach. Uh, and I think his offensive ability can is going to continue to rise yeah. as uh, he continues to get uh, a little more reps and experience, yeah. although he's been around a long time because yeah. uh, he came in the league relatively young. Yeah, what, a great, what a great acquisition from the Montreal Canadiens. Yeah. Uh, originally drafted by Montreal and, and Tampa has right? been a yeah and the Jonathan Drouin deal. For me, I did decide to go with Adam Fox at five. It was close. I thought about Sergachev as well. I think the difference for me is Fox has to be a has been a top pair guy. He's won a Vezina Trophy. Sergachev has not had to be in that role yet with Hedman there. So if I have to choose, you guys took Fox higher than me. I had McAvoy ahead of Fox, and then I have Fox here. I think Fox is. Best attribute is his hockey sense and his brain, and that's a huge attribute to have. I don't know, like, he's, he's not the biggest guy, he's not the fastest guy, but he overcomes a lot of that because he is so doggone smart. But uh, I had to choose Mac. I just think McAvoy helps you get to winning a cup maybe a little bit faster because he's bigger and he's a little bit stronger. So that's my five. That's your, I think, we all of us, I think, did pretty well. We all have basically the same players in the mix here. Yeah, I mean, we got some D influence too, and I yep. think that that's the quickest way, the best way to build assets, draft defensemen, draft the right ones. You get a boatload of them in your organization. You could swap them out, trade yep. those picks. You can get a lot of different things. Me being a defenseman, you think I would have maybe had more defensemen, but yeah. I, I, like you, I had two in the top five. It pained me not to put Charlie McAvoy there, yeah. but he would have been number six. So if, you're, if there's a GM opening and you're looking for a guy, McAvoy was six, so I was just wondering maybe, you know, one of us gets a call here. Shortly, right. no? I, I, you don't think the – don't wait by the phone? I would tell you this. It's much easier to do this drafting. Oh, seven years seven later? Seven years later. <laughs> a little bit. That's been my experience. You know, that's been my experience. A little harder when these kids are seven yes, years absolutely. of age.